Uh, I'm Steve Lennon, uh, a principal of Arup, the design and engineering firm, and I uh, focus on our strategic consulting work that we do on the basis that good advice should inform good design. Well, I think we have to uh, put aside the idea of uh, one all-knowing captain uh, as the CEO uh, steering the ship from the bridge and understanding exactly where we're headed towards and, and how we're going to get there. It's much more important for CEOs to be really a captain coach, uh, encouraging a much more team-based, networked uh, approach among their senior team in particular. So you've got many minds trying to attack the problem. If you think about the rate of change that customers and employees are asking of organisations today, it's really quite steep. But our capacity to change our organisations is still no more than uh, it ever was, despite all of the work we've done around business re-engineering and so on. And that gap, that's what I call the, the jaws of death. The jaws of death because if we're not keeping up with that rate of change customers and staff are demanding, then we're only going to get into some pretty serious trouble. So as well as the CEO really encouraging this more networked, uh, intelligent, team-based approach, it's down to each member of that team then to uh, be, I guess, uh, what we often call uh, relentlessly uncomfortable with their status quo. So to have a real thirst for learning, to recognise that as senior leaders, we don't get to sit on the shelf anymore and think we're done learning. Um, it's something that we need to be challenging ourselves to be doing each week, week in, week out, looking for how we can uh, improve and adapt our own leadership skills, and as a whole then, become a more capable, focused uh, leadership team. Well, I think it's pretty curious that the uh, average tenure of uh, CEOs has fallen to four point four years in the ASX 200, which is pretty similar to the four-year term for politicians, right? So now we've got a situation where uh, CEOs are often uh, understanding that their role won't be for seven, ten years, like Jeffrey Immelt, for example, at GE, who was uh, appointed CEO in 2000. So he's had almost 13 full years now. Engineering is coming under uh, a lot of uh, stress. Uh, it's also, of course, in an era where Mr Abbott says he'd like to be an infrastructure prime minister. Mr O'Farrell wants to be an infrastructure premier. We all know that we've had an enormous backlog of infrastructure uh, work that wasn't getting done. Uh, and so that presents great opportunity. Um, we're also, though, uh, suffering from work, as I mentioned, going offshore as more detailed design work can be done in a more automated manner. So it's up to us to both uh, figure out how we can do our own work much more efficiently and uh, digital technology is an enabler of that if we can figure out how to take it on.